Well, happy Sunday morning to you. Amen. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. So prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Amen. Welcome to New Beginnings Church of the Big Beard. Amen. Pastors Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome you. So be excited. God has something for you. Amen. We're going to be talking about staying positive in the negative world. And there's a whole lot of negative going around right now. Amen. So prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Amen. We want to welcome all those by audio video. And we ask you to please prepare to, to receive. Amen. Bienvenido a todos los que se nos escuchen por audio y video. Prepárense a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Amen. And if you don't think he has anything for you, uh, you need to get saved. <laughs> because he's got something for all of us. Amen. amen. And I'm expecting. Amen. He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and correct you. Amen. So uh, forget about being offended. It's more about being convicted. Yeah. Amen. And he wants to convict you if possible, if, if it needs to be done. But he wants to bless you and encourage you. Amen. Especially what's going on right now. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Thank you, Father. Amen. So prepare yourselves to receive. Amen. And let's grab our Bibles, grab our swords, and say it like you mean at church. Amen. Right. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do today. I have been taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. He wants to change you from glory to glory. He wants to change you and make you better and better and bless you and bless you all the time. Amen. We just got to remember not to forget about the blessor. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. He wants to bless you. Amen. So he is not your problem. Amen. So praise God. Prepare yourselves to receive. Amen. Staying positive in a negative world. And as I said, uh, you know, there's a whole lot of things going on right now. If you don't prepare and you don't spend time with him on a daily basis before right. you go into the world, you're going to start confessing and you're going to start singing just what they're saying. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it might be a big group assemble themselves or a big group going that way. Doesn't mean that's the right way. You just got to know what the word of God says so you can go the right way and not choose the wrong way. Okay. Choose the right people and not the wrong crowd. Amen. Yeah. So remember this. Amen. Because we have to stay positive in this negative world. Amen. We live in a negative world and the circumstances. Amen. Whatever is going on right now, coronavirus, you know, it puts fear in you. Amen. Yeah. But he says He's not giving us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Right. You need to know yeah. what the word of God, you got to get the word in you. Yeah. So you're not pulled back by the world. Amen. Mm -hmm. And he tries, the enemy tries through all kinds of means and distractions to pull you back. Amen. Mm -hmm. To put fear in you. Amen. But you know what? When you get full of the word, you're stepping out in faith. Mm -hmm. And he says that we walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. Amen. So if we are full of the word, we're going to, and spend time with him, we're going to step out in faith and do what he's called us to do. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Whew, I'm excited. I don't know about you, but you need to be excited. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We live in a negative world and the circumstances we encounter leads us to either being positive mm -hmm. or negative. And guess what? If you don't spend time with him and you don't spend time in the word, you yourself can fall back and be negative and start singing just like the world is singing and saying the negative things they're saying. Mm -hmm. Amen? So we've said this so many times, but I'll say it again. We're a tribe in. We're a spirit. We feed the word of God. We feed on the word of God. Amen? We have a soul, our mind, will, and our emotions. Amen? We got to renew it with the word of God. If you're not doing that, you'll just fall back. Mm -hmm. And we have this flesh, this body. <laughs> And this body don't want to do anything but be lazy mm -hmm. and just sit and do nothing. Mm -hmm. So if you're not feeding your spirit, you're not renewing your mind, guess what? The body's just going to join them and just going to sit back and do what the world is doing. Mm -hmm. So we got to be busy about the Lord's business. Amen. Right. Woo, hallelujah. I'm excited. I don't know about you. <laughs> so first, that was First Timothy we were talking about a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. He has not given us a spirit of fear. But a power, love, and a sound mind. Every time I give you a scripture, man, write it down. You know, if we don't look it up now, you can go look it for yourself. So that's First, first Timothy 1, 1 7. Mm -hmm. Don't be surprised. Jesus gave us a heads up long ago. If you have your Bibles with you, open them up to John 16, 33. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, hallelujah. Man, get right into the word. I'm excited already. Amen. Get right into the word. 1633 says what? And these things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. Remember, he is the Prince of Peace. Yes. We're going to have peace in him. Amen? So praise God. In the world you will have what? Trouble. Tribulations. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. So guess what? We spend time with him. We get the word of God in us. And we can overcome this, these things ourselves. Yeah. Amen? Mm -hmm. You know, or you could be distracted and just be taking on the, the cares and the anxieties and the worries and start putting yourself down. Amen. And feeling sorry for yourself. You don't have to do that. Amen. Yeah. So I just want to encourage you. Amen. Let me see. Let me read it to you from the. Uh, well, I was going to read it to you from the extended Bible. Extended Bible says, I have told you these things so that you can have peace in me. The Prince of Peace. In this world, you will have trouble, persecution, sufferings. But be brave. Take courage. Heart. I have defeated. Vic I have victory over conquered, overcome the world. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. You know, when you get in the word of God, <laughs> it's going to make you happy. Yeah. Say, oh, praise God. I want to be an imitator. Mm -hmm. Just like Ephesians tells us to be imitators of our God. Amen. Yes, amen. Imitate him. You know, get in the word. Don't say, well, so-and-so said. The world says. Well, what's the word of God says? You got to stand on what the word of God says, not what the world says, That's or so-and-so right. says, or whoever says what. You know, just because you got a crowd of people over there talking uh, the problem don't mean you got to magnify the problem. You got to magnify your God. Yeah. Amen. Sometimes you got to stand by yourself. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you come join us over here. No, I'm standing in my ground. I'm standing mm -hmm. on the rock. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Yeah. Come on, be bold. Yeah. <laughs> Let them know. Yeah. Hey, my God has the answers. Amen. Yeah. Woo, praise God. Amen. Yeah. Uh, I want to read to you Philippians. Philippians uh, 4, 6 through 9. Um, well, yeah, I'll read it from here because I don't have the uh, NIV with me. But I want to read it to you from the, and from the NIV. So Philippians goes like this. So Philippians 4, 6 through 9. Do not be anxious about anything. anything. Is coronavirus anything? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My God is bigger. Yeah. Amen. I don't care how much they magnify coronavirus, okay? My God is bigger yeah. than anything. Amen. You know, when, when David was going against Goliath, see, he never noticed or he never knew the strength of Goliath. Mm. He looked big, but he knew the strength of his God. And that's what we need to know. We need to know our God. We need to know his strength. Yeah. There's nothing bigger, nothing stronger than our God. Amen. Ooh, come on now. Amen. Amen. I mean, uh, amen me now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so be anxious about do not, says do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, yes. present your request to God. Amen? Amen? Are you bringing it to him? Yes. Amen. Amen? Or are you bringing it to the negative people? All right. Amen? Are you sharing it with people uh -huh. that are just going to go and, and gossip about it? Uh -huh. Or are you bringing it to your God who can do something about That's it? Right. Or say Amen. he's already done something about yes. it. Yes. Amen? Ooh, come on now. <laughs> Verse 7 says, and the peace of God, yes. which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Yes. Since, no, verse 8. Finally, my brothers, mm -hmm. whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, mm -hmm. if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Yes. And verse 9 says, for whatever, whatever you have learned or received or heard, from me or seen in me, put it into practice. All right. And the God of peace will be with you. Amen. Yeah. Wherever yeah. you go, yes. anytime, any day, mm -hmm. <laughs> the Prince of Peace is yes. with you. He says he'll never leave you nor forsake That's you. That's right. He's always with you. Yes. Amen. He don't leave you. Amen. We're his people. Mm -hmm. Amen. So he's always with us. So don't think and don't let the world or anyone talk you into fear. And being by yourself, you know, yes. hey, if you feel by yourself, spend time with him. Mm -hmm. Get in the word. God wants yes. us to have true peace by not worrying about anything. That's right. I'm going to tell you this. It's going to shock you. <laughs> Worrying is sin. Oh, boy. <laughs> so let it go. 
Don't be worried about anything. Yes, right. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Ooh, hallelujah. Amen. It means <laughs> you're not trusting God. That's right. And if you're walking in fear, you're not walking in faith. Perfect. He well, says to yes. walk by faith, not by sight. That's right. You know? So if you're not walking in faith, you're walking in fear. Mm -hmm. And if you're walking in fear, you walk, you're not walking in faith. That's right. And if you're worried, it means you're not trusting God. <laughs> Are you going to trust him? Mm -hmm. You know? We spend time with him. He blesses you. Mm -hmm. He renews you. Mm -hmm. He does whatever needs to be done. Yes. And we step out in faith. Yes. Step out in faith and not worry about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, when the enemy brings it to you and says, you know, hey, remember about this. He says, it's not mine. Mm -hmm. I gave it to him. Mm -hmm. Or he's already took it, t taken care of it. Yes. So you're talking to the wrong person. That's right. You go to God. And get, mm -hmm. You think he's going to go to God and talk to him? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. <laughs> so that's how you get rid of him. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Woo! Hallelujah. Don't be anxious about anything. That's right. But seek. But excuse me. The meaning, don't worry. The word of anxious is in the Greek here. It means do not be troubled with cares. Yeah. Amen. Anxious. Don't be troubled with cares. And you know what? You've got many opportunities. Mm -hmm. But don't mean you have to take them. That's right. Amen. Why? Because I'm trusting God. Mm -hmm. You know, when David went to visit his brothers and bring them lunch, and they was confronted with the, the, the armies of the Philistines. All they was talking about was the problem. Yeah. And they was magnifying the problem. Yeah. We couldn't do anything about mm. this. David was the only one talking about mm. God. But my God is able. He yeah. said, he saw me when I went against the bear and, and the lion. Mm. And my God is able to mm. take, take down this giant. Amen. Mm -hmm. So what giant problems are you facing right now? <laughs> Coronavirus? <laughs> <laughs> My God is bigger. Yes. You know, Woo. trust him. Amen. amen. Trust him. So just let it go. Amen. So don't be anxious about anything. That's First right. Peter 5, 7 says, cast all your anxieties, all your cares upon him. Why? Because he cares about you. You're his child. I'm going to tell you something, man. Ever since you got born again, you're a child of God. Mm -hmm. So don't go around calling yourself a sinner. That's it. Amen. We might fall and we might sin. But I can go to him and confess, mm -hmm. and he's going to forgive and for, forgive and forget yes. about that. You do the same thing. Amen? You do the same thing. But you're a child of God. Yes. Amen? We're his people. Yes. We're his body. We're his church. Yes. Amen? Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Amen? So don't go around calling yourself something God never called you. That's it. Amen? Once you confess him as Lord and Savior, you're his child. The enemy comes and tells you different. You say, "Well, you go take it to him and talk to him," because he says, "I'm a child. I'm his child. Mm -hmm. Amen. Ooh, I'm his favorite child." Yeah. <laughs> God has called us to fulfill our race, our mission. Yeah. As we go about fulfilling, we must get rid of all the cares, all the anxiety, all the weights, mm -hmm. and have peace of mind. By doing this, we can stay positive in a negative world. Yes. Amen. It doesn't matter where you go. You get it from people. You get it from TV. You get it from uh, cell phones. You get it from everywhere. Billboards, whatever. You, you get all these things all the time. So guess what? We got to renew our mind all the time. Yes. Constantly renewing. That's not what the Word of God says. Amen. You got to stay focused. And you got to be about the Father's business. Amen. Yes. Woo, hallelujah. Yes, Amen. Yes. Amen. You're going to have cares, anxieties, weights. You know, when you're running or you're fulfilling your mission, you don't need all these extra weights. That's it. Amen. You, you're pressing on with the things of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mark this down. Hebrews 12, 1 in the New Living Translation says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a huge crowd of witnesses to life, to the life of faith, let us strip off every weight. Oh. Amen. Let us strip off every weight that slows us down. Yes. That's what weight does. It slows you down. That's it. Amen. Why do you think uh, track people? <laughs> 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 or if, if, you, if you're a jogger, why do you think you wear these little light clothes? <laughs> you don't, you don't yeah. put your big boots on or, or put armor, so, armor, armor suit on. That's it. You put some light clothes on. Yeah. That's what yeah. he wants us to do. Yeah. Amen. Cast all those weights on me because mm -hmm. I care for you. Yeah. And we go about busy about the Father's business. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. 
Huh, strip off the weights that slows us down, yeah. especially the sin that so easily trips us up. Oh, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Mm -hmm. You know, God has called every one of you. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you don't feel that way, then you need to get saved. <laughs> when you get saved, you know the Father loves you. Amen. He, he loves you so much. He sacrificed his son. Mm -hmm. Jesus loved you so much. He allowed himself to be sacrificed. And died for us. Amen. So you need to say, Lord, I've sinned against you. <laughs> I repent. Come into my life, be my Lord and Savior, and stop living for him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Get the get into the word, know what the word of God says. Mm -hmm. So you stop believing the lies the enemy's telling you. Right. So you stop believing the lies people is telling you. Uh -huh. So you won't fall into the distractions that are so easily taking you down. Yeah. Amen. Let go of the anxieties, the cares, the the, the weights. Amen. Let it all go and let let go and let God. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. <laughs> Matthew six thirty three. Uh, let's go there. <laughs> Matthew six six thirty three. We know this, but that's all right. We read it. You know what? We mature in the things of God, and we grow in the things of God. Maturing is growing in the Word of God. Amen. Amen. So guess what? When we assemble ourselves together, when we come together. It's all kinds of levels of maturity yes. in, 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 in this place. Okay. Amen. There's all kinds of maturity of levels. Amen. So we don't down each other. We just encourage one another. Yes. We don't compete against each other. Right. We complete each other. Yes. Amen. We help. Hey, brother. Hey, sister. I'm glad you're doing this. I'm glad you're studying. I'm glad you're learning the word. I used to be there, but you know what? I kept on doing it, and you know, it matures you to another level. You know, yeah. how many of you read, read, read a scripture before and it meant one thing? Next thing you know, it says, wow, the Lord just opened my eyes. Mm -hmm. My spiritual eyes, I see this verse a different way. Mm -hmm. That's maturity. That's maturity, amen? Yeah. So uh, I know you're there, but I'm not. <laughs> Matthew 6, 33 and 34. Matthew, Matthew, Matthew. <laughs> Are you there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I am too. <laughs> it says, but seek what? First, the kingdom of God. No, seek first what I'm going to do for today. No. <laughs> seek what I'm going to cook today. No. <laughs> <laughs> seek whatever you feel like doing today. Uh -huh. No. It says, but seek first the kingdom of God and uh -huh. his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Uh -huh. Take therefore no thought for what? Tomorrow, for tomorrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Amen. So, hallelujah. Let me read it to you from this translation I have. But seek first the kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. 34. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. There's a whole lot of worrying going on right now. There's a whole lot of fear going on right now. It says, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Yeah. But you know what? Every day is seek him first. Mm -hmm. Seek you first the kingdom of God, his righteousness. And all these other things shall be added unto you. Amen. So I'm seeking him first. I'm not seeking the problems. And you know, you get around the world. You, we have to go to work. And we have to be around negative people all the time. So you stay positive. Don't allow yourself to go down. You know, we have great vehicles. We have great trucks, great cars, all kinds of nice vehicles. But guess what? If you don't keep that battery charged up, you can't, that vehicle won't go anywhere. Uh -uh. So we need to keep our spiritual batteries charged all the time. Mm -hmm. Positive, not negative, amen? Mm -hmm. We don't let them go down. We gotta keep them charged up all, the time. all the time, amen? Woo. So we gotta feed on the word, feed on the word, feeding him, spend time with him, amen? Woo. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Again, 1 Peter uh, 5, 7 says what? Casting all anxieties, all cares on him because what? He cares, he cares for you. He cares about you. He loves you so much. I told you, Father loves you so much. He sacrificed his only son. Uh -huh. Jesus loved you so much. He went to the cross and paid the price. He loved you so much. He stretched out his arms and he crucified him. Mm -hmm. Amen. He says, I love you this much. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now we must do the same thing. 
we must give ourselves back to him. Mm -hmm. Amen. And do for him. John 14, 1 says in the King to read Virgin, Jesus says, don't be troubled, don't worry, trust in God and trust in me. Mm -hmm. Trust in him. He says, don't worry. Don't take thought. That's right. Just trust me. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we're trusting him. You know, some people are, are so overwhelmed by this coronavirus thing, you know? Mm -hmm. So they don't know God like we do. Yes. Amen. We're standing on God. We're standing on His Word. Amen. Yes. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with what? All your with heart. all your heart. And lean not into your own understanding. That's it. Amen. It says, In all your ways acknowledge Him, mm -hmm. and He will direct your path. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Let Him be your steering wheel of life mm -hmm. and not your spare tire. Oh, Some wow. people are only taking Him out. Whoa, where were you a few years ago? <laughs> coronavirus is out and I, all these guys have been treating God like a spare tire you know oh. well this is in case of emergency so I'm taking Jesus I, I'm making a re, re, restart you know <laughs> be thinking about now nah, this is the most they ever mentioned Jesus name you know oh Jesus I need you Jesus I want you oh Jesus 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 yeah yeah what about all the other times you know every time something new come up you so oh you know I need to take him out, dust my Bible. <laughs> God, I've been reading it. Where, where, where did you hide my Bible? Uh -huh. Where's my Bible? I need my word. Mm. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. clears throat> he is your steering wheel of life. Yes, he and is. not your spare tire. Yes, he is. On a daily basis, spend time with him. Amen. Didn't say how many times. It could be forever. Yes. But spend time with him. Yes. Let him know he's number one in your life. Yes, he is. Amen. Coronavirus is not number one in That's your right. life. That's right. That's right. Amen. <laughs> or whatever distraction or whatever sin. Uh -huh. God doesn't want you to worry about want you to worry because worry means that you don't trust him. Uh -huh. You're not taking him fully at his word. That's right. Amen. So you know, hey, yeah, you know, I, I've tried that. Uh huh. But it didn't work. Mm. Okay? Well, you wouldn't. You know, people that even come to church and they're offended, you know. If they're offended, their trust was not in God. That's their it. faith was not in God. That's it. Amen? They just come to be tested. And guess what? The enemy got them. <laughs> Amen? You know, hey, the, the, the enemy's got the world. So guess what? He's in churches trying to take people out of church. Uh -huh. And if you come in here half-hearted, you know, <laughs> He's going to take you out. Because, you know, I didn't like the way the pastor was talking. I didn't like the way he dressed. Well, I didn't like what sister so-and-so or brother so-and-so said. Well, guess what? You're always going to find excuses. What we need to do is get our hearts right and get our minds and focus on what God is speaking through our yes. pastors. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? When we come prepared to receive what God has for us mm -hmm. and not to judge what people are doing oh. or not doing. Uh -huh. Amen? that we won't be offended so easy. That's it. Amen? Yes. So we need to be focused. Woo! Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> God has been providing for all of us all along. Yes, he has. All you have to do is look to the cross. Yes. And you know what you see? It says, mm -hmm. paid in full. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he paid it, and he paid a price he didn't owe. Mm -hmm. And I owe a debt. Yes. I cannot pay. That's it. All I need to do is just make myself available to him. Yeah. And say, Lord, here am I. You know, if you if you feel sorry for yourself and I'm not good enough for God to use, then something's wrong. You need to get uh -huh. saved. Yeah. Get saved and come to Him and say, Lord, here I am, use me. Mm -hmm. And He won't turn you down. Right. He wants to use all of us. You're here for this reason, yes. to be used of God. But yeah. you have to make yourself available. Amen. And if you're not making yourself available, then something's wrong. Mm -hmm. You need to get that stuff straight now yes. and know that he wants to use you mm -hmm. and you're special to him. He wouldn't have sacrificed his son and Jesus wouldn't have been uh, crucified unless he, he loved you. He loved you that much yes. that he allowed himself to be crucified. Yes. So you need to know you're special in his eyes. Yes, Amen. Lord. He, If he was the only person he would have died for you anyway. Yes. Thank Amen. You, so see yourself. That's how. Mm -hmm. That's how important you are. Yeah. God wants you to. God wants to fill your hearts with what is good. 
Yes. And pleasant. Yes. Amen. Yes. So praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. So you know, you hang around negative people, oh. let, them, let them go. Uh -huh. <laughs> or you come in there and just blow the whole thing and say, you know, God loves all of you. Uh -huh. Amen. Yes. Speak the word. Uh -huh. They're speaking a problem. You magnify your God. Yeah. Amen. And guess what? Pretty yeah. soon that, it, that meeting is just going to dissolve. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to say, well, you know, hey, uh, that's the end of that. <laughs> whatever is true, whatever is honorable, right, pure, or lovely, yeah. a good report, excellent, worthy of praise, yeah. let your minds dwell on these things. God wants you to think and to meditate on the truth, purity, and uh -huh. excellence. Amen. So praise God. You are somebody yeah. going somewhere to happen. Amen. You're a blessing going somewhere to happen. Uh -huh. He blesses you to be a blessing. Yes. Amen. He just don't bless you so you can keep it. Yes. <laughs> he blesses you to be a blessing to somebody. Yeah. There's somebody out there that I can't reach. Yes. Yeah. You know, but hey, I can't go around the world. You go around. Uh -huh. Amen. You go to different areas that some of us don't come. So that's how special you are because yeah. you're bringing Jesus and you're the light coming into that yeah. dark world. Yeah. Amen. And you bring good news wherever you yeah. go. Thank Ooh, you. Come on now. Praise <laughs> God. Thank Hallelujah. You. Psalms 119.78. Yeah. I will meditate on your precepts. Uh -huh. The precepts of the word of God yeah. is true purity and excellence. Yeah. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Thank meditate you. on the word of God so that you might be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Amen. Yes, I have been transformed. Mm -hmm. And you have been transformed. Mm -hmm. Don't let the world or any negative things hold you back anymore. The yes, yes. Bible says you can do all things, all things. through Christ who strengthens Amen. you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Quit being a, quit walking around with that frown on your face. <laughs> and that <laughs> says the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yes. You need Thank you need joy, you need strength. Yeah. All you have to do is just be joyful. Mm -hmm. So when you have the greater one in you. You can't help but to be joyful. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. People are going to see that. And Amen. people are going to be changed because of that. God wants you to have true peace by putting into practice what you have learned. It's called spiritual growth. It's uh -huh. called maturity. You know, as you get in the word, you're going to grow. Uh -huh. Amen. And as you grow, you're going to go. Amen. <laughs> so grow and go and go for God. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. That's what he wants you to do. So... We're maturing as we're going. So we never down each other. Yes, we amen. encourage one another. Amen. We lift each other. Amen. Yes, so praise, praise God. God. Amen. amen. Praise Hallelujah. God. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. He wants you to be, he wants you to trust him for everything. Yes, he does. Again, Philippians 4, 6 says, don't be anxious for anything. Uh -huh. Pray to him for everything. Yes. Amen. You go to him for everything. everything. I'm trusting him. Yes. You know, when you get the word in you, you start saying, well, this is what the word of God says. Uh -huh. Amen. And you start doing what the word of God says yeah. and not what so-and-so says That's right. or not what your flesh wants you to uh -huh. do. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Praise That's 4.6a uh, 4.6b says, but in everything by prayer and petition yes. with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Amen. Uh -huh. Meditate on what is holy. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise God. Yes. And in closing. Amen. We don't want to keep you long. We just want you to get it. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We want you to get this. And you know, we want you to be positive yes. in this negative world. You, oh, know? Yeah. you can be positive. Uh -huh. And you know how you're going to stay positive? Mm -hmm. By getting the word of God in you. Yes. And not letting the circumstances and the anxieties, uh, the coronaviruses of this world pull oh, you down. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, say, hey, listen. Coronavirus, that's the Goliath of this world right now. Mm. Well, guess what? Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. And you know what? David took Goliath down. Yes, he did. Amen. So, coronavirus is coming down. Yes, it is. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Greater one is in you. I can do yes. all things through all Christ things. who yes. strengthens yes. me. Amen. Amen. Confess Amen. the word. Be strong Praise in him. God. Amen. Amen. Uh, in closing, Amen. it is faith in Christ that enables us to be positive in a negative word. Yeah. Okay. Having faith in him. Having faith in him. Having faith in him. Praise God. Amen. Be positive in him. Overcome this world by the blood of the Lamb. Yes. And the word of your testimony. That's yes. what the word of God says, you know? Yes. Some of us have been brought up from different 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 uh 
things, you know, some worse than others maybe. But guess what? We have an awesome testimony. Yes, and the testimony, God is using you to release somebody from prison. Amen. To release somebody from being captive. Yes. Amen. And for them to know, you know, if God did it for them, he'll do it for you. Yes. Amen. Know this. He loves you that much. Amen. Amen. And he wants to get the word to you. Yes, and he all he has is people. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we are his people. We are his ministers of reconciliation. We are his ambassadors, his mouthpiece going somewhere to happen. Amen. But you have a testimony. Don't keep it locked up. That's right. Amen. Don't keep it locked up. Um, let, let, it, let it go. Let it go. Amen. I missed I miss something somewhere. <laughs> oh, my God. You were supposed to read. Huh? Yeah, I've got, I've, got, I've got something to read to you here at the end, though. All right. No, I was, I was going to read to you before I continue. I wanted to read to you this. Staying positive in every world, of course, is seeking Him first. Uh -huh. Refuse to quit when things get tough. That's right. And I'll give you some examples. <laughs> Jesus, you don't think He had it tough? Oh, boy. He had it real tough. But you know what? He didn't bow down. That's it. Amen. He didn't bow down. You know, he could have said, hey, I'm going to quit. Hey, Father, get me out of here. Mm -hmm. These negative people, <laughs> just get me out of here. They're, they're ungrateful. I don't want to be around anymore. I, just take me up. He stuck with it. Mm -hmm. He didn't quit. Yes. Amen. What about Moses? Moses said, I can't speak. <laughs> <laughs> they went out in the desert. And then he cried to the Lord and he says, you know what? I don't want to spend another day with these negative people. Just kill me. Mm -mm -mm. I want to die. Mm -mm. God says, no. He says, I'll get some leaders from every tribe. And I'll put the same spirit that's in you into them. Mm -hmm. And they're going to help you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So guess what? Now he's got us, the body of Christ. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I got so many. David. Hallelujah. Uh, Just be available and participate. Commit, be involved. Stay hungry, yes. stay thirsty, yes. stay filled with him. Mm -hmm. Stand, stand, and continue to stand with yeah. him. The Bible says when you're doing all, all. that you can't do to stand, say mm -hmm. stand. Yeah. Amen. We're standing. Just be like a tree by a river of water. Roots go way deep into yeah. the word of God. Amen. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> See the good in all. And not the bad. Yes. See the good and not the fault. We're yes. so good for that, you know. Oh, yeah. All we do is judge people and say, oh, that person's no good. Come on. Mm -hmm. All you see is the bad and not the good. Uh. Well, who made you to judge? Oh, yeah. Who made you perfect? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Only one perfect person, that's Jesus. Yeah. Amen. So we are just to minister to people, bring the word to people, bring them to Christ. He's going to do the rest of it. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's going to do the cleaning. You, yes. He'll do the judging and all the other stuff. Amen. Yes. So see the good and not the bad. Amen. Be fishers of men. We catch them, God judge them. <laughs> 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 Remember to stop <clears throat> magnifying the problem. All right. Stop the negative talk. Stop the murmuring. Stop the complaining. All right. Amen. Just because you heard it on CNN don't mean you got to be the mouthpiece for <laughs> CNN everywhere you go. <laughs> Amen. Why don't you get into what the word says yeah. and then go out and spread out the word, what yeah. the word of God says. Amen. Hey, they're magnifying uh, uh -huh. uh, coronavirus. But guess what? My God is bigger than that. Yeah. Amen. My God is bigger than anything the world wants to put out. Amen. Oh, okay. hallelujah. So you, here's the thing to remember. You control your words. Uh -huh. Amen. Put a guard piece on your mouth. Yeah. Or if you want to say it like this, zip the lip. Yeah. Amen. Uh, and don't let it out. Mm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Don't be hung by the tongue. Mm. Think before you speak. Mm. You know, I have a gun and I have bullets in it. Mm -hmm. Before I shoot these bullets out, mm -hmm. I am careful yeah. what I shoot at. Amen. Yeah. So be careful. Woo. Thank you, Lord. We travel our whole life using words. We frame our worlds with words we speak. 
Pace your words before you spit them out. Yeah. And I'm going to leave you with this. Proverbs 18.21 says what? Uh -huh. And then New King James says, Death and life right. are in the power the of the tongue, tongue, and those that love it will eat its fruit. Uh -huh. Death and life are in the power of the words you speak. Yeah. That's why it's so important. Wow. Mm. Guess what? I just found out I'm my biggest problem. Mm. Because I just go around shooting words out. Oh boy. So if they're gonna be positive, go for it. Uh -huh. If they're gonna be negative, mm. just hold them. Yeah. Hold them back. <coughs> Don't shoot them out. Amen. Because you're gonna reap what you sow. Yeah. You're gonna grow what you planted. Mm -hmm. It's gonna come back to you. Mm. Okay? Now you just spoke some problems there. But guess what? I say, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just mm -hmm. gonna be speak positive, speak positive and not negative. Mm -hmm. Speaking negative brings the problem and never helps. Speaking positive is the truth and the solution or the answer to your problem. Mm -hmm. Amen? So we're magnifying magnifying the problem never helps. Mm -hmm. Magnifying God is the answer. Yeah. Speaking the truth always helps. We must make a quality decision each and every day to yeah. stay positive in spite of the negative world, in spite of the negative circumstances, yeah. in spite of whatever is going around, yeah. whatever. The latest yeah. is coronavirus. Mm. God is bigger, amen. Don't amen. magnify that anymore, That's amen. Right. So praise God, I'm closing with that, amen. and I just wanna let you know that we're praying with you. Stay positive, well, stay positive in the negative world, don't join the wrong crowd. Oh boy. Don't copy the world. Be the original God meant you to be. Mm -hmm. Study, meditate, renew your mind with his word. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. If this has blessed you, or if you never, first of all, if you've never accepted Christ, this is the time to just say, Lord Jesus, <laughs> I failed you. Mm -hmm. I've sinned against you. Mm -hmm. I repent. Come into my life, be my Lord and Savior. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. And he's going to forgive and forget and he's going to bless you amen. and you need to hook up with a church where you can go and study the word amen go and be around them and grow in the things of god amen. get a bible and uh and start reading the word and yes. see what the word of god says and stop confessing what the world says but start confessing what the word of god says yes. amen. amen so praise god if you have any sickness in your body just touch yourself father in the name yes. of jesus yes. i just thank you that by jesus stripes this person that is listening to me, Father God, or watching me, I think it is whatever they're going through right now, they're healed, Father, from the yeah. crown of their head to the soles of their feet. Not because I said it, but because your word says it, Father. Yes, yes. And because Jesus, Jesus went through it, Father, and by his stripes, they are healed, Father yes. God, right now, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And if this has helped you, we've asked you, and we still need to uh, pay the bills around here. So uh, we ask for your support. If you're writing us a check, just write it out to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Uh, P.O. Box 252, uh, uh, zip code 79843. Uh, and uh, if you're just getting cash, you want to email it to that. But if you're writing out a check, just write it out to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. And we want to thank you and bless you. Amen. So, Father, we just thank you as we close. That greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And we magnify you, and we don't magnify no problems, Father God. And we just thank you for blessing your people, Father God, with your word. Thank you that we're growing and going for you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. amen.